بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتاب الكريم كيف تكفرون بالله وكنتم مموات Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, how can you disbelieve in Allah and you were once uh, non-existent? iman billah. Believing in Allah is something and being a believer is like the person who tr attempts to hold on to a hot coal, but they're being burned. And I make this similitude to Habatifillah because there are so many things in this life to take you away from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why dhikr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one of the greatest things that you can do. Subhanallah wa bahamdihi, subhanallah al -azim. So remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often. Supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al kareem Inna al-ladheena yastakhbiruna an ibadati sayyidkhuluna jahannama dakhirin Barely those who are arrogant with regards to my worship, worshipping me, they will be in jahannam in humiliation. The path of the mu'min ahabati fillah and in order to keep your faith intact is that you hold on to it by making dhikr often, by supplicating often, by doing the wajib, your duties of prayer, keeping the regular salat, and trying to avoid the muharramat because those major sins take away from your iman. Munkar and ma'asi takes you away from Allah Jal. Your faith is sometimes high and sometimes it's low. How do we know that faith fluctuates? How do we know that there are lower levels of faith? Because the Prophet وسلم, said in the hadith of Abi Sa'id al Khudri, عنه, he said, Samaitu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ayakul, Min ra'a minkum munkarin fal yugayruhu biyad, fa in lam yastati, fa bilisani, fa in lam yastati, fa bi kalbihi wa dalika adu fal iman, ruahu Muslim. In this hadith is Sahih Muslim. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever amongst you sees a munkar, meaning they see something sinful, then change it with his hands. If he's unable to do so, change it with his tongue, speak out against it. And if he's unable to do so, then change it with his heart, and that's the weakest form of faith, letting us know that what? There are different levels of Iman. There are different levels of faith. And faith fluctuates. Sometimes you have the Iman and the Qudra, the ability to change something with your hand, and so you do so. Sometimes you don't have that ability, so you speak out against it, you advise the people. But sometimes you feel, whatever the reason, you don't have the ability, you don't have the authority to do, the, do that. And you see a munkar, so at least you hate that munkar, that evil, that ma'asi in your heart. That helps to keep your iman intact. So strive to keep your iman intact and your iman in place. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.